What should you do when your two-week notice is rejected? How can you reject a two-week notice? You just keep paying the employee. You are not a slave. You can walk away from any job at any time for any reason. Two weeks notice is just a courtesy. You work for two weeks and then don't show up anymore. Meet Wayne. He's been stuck at the same job that he quit 10 years ago because management rejected his two weeks notice. It's a notice to notify them that you are leaving, not a proposal. It's like telling your partner that you want to break up. They don't get to reject your breakup. No, I don't accept. We're still dating. Just leave. A two-week notice is a courtesy, not mandatory. Leave. That's a power move. Counter it with your own. What movies come to mind when you think of great soundtracks? Oh brother, where art thou? Tron Legacy. How to Train Your Dragon. I scrolled really far and was disappointed to not see The Lord of the Rings. I collect good soundtrack music and that trilogy soundtrack is my favorite. Shrek. And a special mention to Shrek 2's I Need a Hero. Interstellar. Jurassic Park and Star Wars. Pretty much anything by John Williams Emo. Honorable mention to Danny Elfman too. The Lion King. The musical numbers are great, but Hans Zimmer's work on the Ost is amazing. The Crow. Donnie Darko. The use of long shots with the soundtrack is just stellar. Scott Pilgrim is up there too. Where is the worst place to have diarrhea? Can confirm the worst place to have diarrhea is on the top of a mountain with your best friends and very soon to be fiancé. I had to run away, hide, shit my brains out off the side of a mountain. Wipe with leaves quickly cause people start calling my name wondering where I am. I finally yell out that I'm okay and I'm just peeing. I go back with everyone and my BF gets down on one knee to propose to me. Little did he and everyone know I had just unloaded on that mountain from my butthole. I still said yes. Edit. This blew up. Ha. Thanks everyone for the hilarious poop anecdotes and encouraging words. Anywhere that's not your own home. Edit. I beg you all to please stop telling me about your diarrhea stories. What aspect of society would drastically change if humans laid eggs? Scrambled eggs would have darker connotations. I feel like it would be a term we'd use for bad or weird people. They're just a scrambled egg lol. At least one scandal where a restaurant served human eggs to its customers. It depends if there were any previous scandals of girls using their milk at cafes. We would sell egg paint to decorate the human egg, like on Easter but shittier. Break a few eggs to make an omelette, would be a far more terrifying saying. Switched at birth, stories would probably become more common. Imagine the scandals. Wow. Now you decorate the egg, like at Easter. Would a woman lay a non-fertilized egg every month? Cause then there would totally be a rampant egg-laying fetish. People who wake up at 5 a.m. daily, why? Do you think I'm doing this on purpose? Work. My cat politely lays on my neck until I wake up. My job is an hour away and I still need about an hour to cry in the shower. Can't you save time by crying during your commute? Age. As a teenager I could sleep all weekend. From about 30 I never needed an alarm clock as I would always wake up before I needed to. At around 40 I started waking up around 0630 and it gets earlier every year. I'm now almost 60 and am generally awake around 0430 and up and running by 0500 regardless of how late I go to bed. If this trend continues I will be getting up before I've gone to bed. There are times like weekends when I wish I could sleep in but overall I enjoy being up early. Sunrise, coffee and peace are nice.